Good morning. It's time for our children's story this morning. Have you ever laid on the ground at night and looked up at the sky with all of its stars? We're fortunate to, to live where we live, out in the country, on farms, or in Glencoe and small towns. Because at night, we can see more of the stars than people who live in the city, right? They have so many lights that in the city at night, it washes out the stars and you can hardly see them. Or have you ever been away camping or somewhere even more remote so that there's even less light? One of my times in Malawi, I climbed Mount Malangi, which you can see here in this picture. Mount Malangi is the third highest peak in Africa, and near the top there is a very large flat plain. Now I stayed in a cabin overnight at the top when I climbed it, and that night I went out and I laid down in the grass in front of the cabin, and I looked up at the sky and I was amazed. I was amazed at all I could see, because there's no electricity on Mount Malangi and there are no cities nearby. It's also quite high. It's almost 3,000 meters above sea level, so the air there is very clear, no pollution. Um, the sky is crystal clear. And the night sky looks something like this. This is a picture of the Milky Way. And I have never seen the Milky Way so clearly before since that night on Mount Malangi. So what do you feel inside or what do you think when you're lying on the ground looking up at the stars and, and seeing the beautiful sky at night and all of those stars? What do you feel? You might feel awe, right? Like, wow, that is just so incredible. That's so beautiful. Or you might say, I feel so small because the universe is so big. Look at how many stars there are. There are just too many stars to count. In our first reading today, God calls Abram outside his tent and says, look toward heaven and count the stars, if you're able to count them, right? It's, it's pretty much impossible to count all the stars. So I can imagine that Abraham felt just like we do, just like we described earlier. But God had also promised Abram that his descendants would be as numerous as the stars. They would be too many to count. And as Christians, you and I, we are descendants of Abraham too. The stars are a reminder not only of God's creation, but that God keeps his promises. Can you pray after me? Dear God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the stars in the sky. Help us to trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our hymn is 393, I'm Not Ashamed to Own My Lord.